Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been MIA, but a lot has happened. Um, good things. You know, I'm still working, still mama, still doing my own thing, you know. Um, as you know, I kind of disappeared just because um, I don't do really social media. I don't really have anything for it. I don't really care for it. Um, but I just decided to turn on the camera just because I want to show you guys something real quick. Um, <laughs> don't mind my mess because this is reality. This is um, real, real situations. I mean, I'm not a, uh, a perfect person, nor do I want to. I don't want to be a um, person that shows everybody off like a, a basically like a perfect home because it's not. My home is not perfect whatsoever. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys something because I've been holding out on you guys and it's a little bit hard to um, even hide. <laughs> um, but yeah, all is well. Thank the Lord that all is well just because um, I'm excited to share you guys some exciting news. I am 35, almost 36 weeks pregnant. Um, with baby number three um, We are super ecstatic. It's been a really tough pregnancy um, Especially this last part just because I have never-ending nausea. I have um, you know Braxton Hicks uh, pubic pain everything all you know if you mamas are watching my channel you guys already know how it is So I'm still working. Um, I'm finally moving to part-time until I have this baby um, but I'm so grateful that my work has been so accommodating, but yeah, we're pregnant and um, Baby bunny is gonna be here Honestly any week now I'm trying I'm trying to Victor um, as naturally as I can um, But I'm over it, but <laughs> Here's chicken in the background Say hi chicken she is covered in chocolate because that's reality with the two-year-old and yeah I just want to show you guys real quick so here it is I am super pregnant and as you see it's hard <laughs> it's very very pregnant like I just ate dinner we went to Olive Garden because who doesn't love Olive Garden but this is my belly real-life belly there's a baby in there. Um, now, my baby is a girl, so we're having another girl. <sighs> Thank goodness I kept all the baby stuff, right guys? Um, especially the girl stuff. But yeah, um, I'm pregnant. If you guys are pregnant with me, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are pregnant too. A lot of mamas are pregnant and, and, and do any day now or already have delivered their baby. So again, mamas out there that are pregnant, congratulations. And we'll be bumping um, this bump like it's in fashion. Um, <laughs> I'm such a lame -o. Um But anyways, I just wanna share you guys real quick, but I'll, I'll catch up with you guys soon, sharing more um, of my life, but Baby Bunny will be here soon. So yeah, we're pregnant. We're super excited. Um, it's been tough, I have to admit, being a working mom. And um, don't mind my mess. This is like reality. I'm just showing you guys like, but people live here. I'm happy. My family's happy. And um, like I said, I don't want like a picture perfect home. I want a lived in home. Um, but. Yeah, all is well. I have massive heartburn. Let me find some Tums because I'm like freaking dying right now. Um, all is well. As far as like baby's health, my family's health. We just got over. Well, luckily I didn't get it, but the kids and Dave and I feel so bad. Um, they just got over hands, foot, and mouth. And as you moms know, that really sucks. Um, it just, it's very, very painful. Kids had fevers, they had sores. Especially David, he had gnarly sores, even on the bottom of his feet. 
it was bad guys I missed like a whole week of work and uh, I honestly hope it never happens again just because I don't think I can mentally and physically handle it right now at this point because I don't want to get hands, foot, and mouth or my family get it because then I'll literally be alone at the hospital. You have to go pee? Go pee, buddy. I'm listening here. It's iced tea. Uh, go pee. Oh, you're thirsty? Oh, good. Okay, I'm if you want, you could grab yourself a cup. Where's the cup? Here, I'll get you, get, let's get you a cup. Are you gonna get your, oh, this one's the one from yesterday. If you want it. Oh, there's only like a little bit. You wanna finish it off and get a new one? Are you playing outside? Yeah? Here, let me see. <laughs> Here, grab, grab a new one. You want to say hi to everyone? I did, I did. Look, say hi to the camera. Teach. Say hi, guys. I'm Lennon. Hi, guys. I'm Poop. <laughs> you silly. Are you going to go out and play? Yeah. All right. Friends are out. All right. Have fun, buddy. What you doing, Chicken Nugget? Oh, the pack pack. And can you tell she has chocolate all over her face? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ate chocolate, huh? Oh, your backpack fell. But you washed your hands, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are your I toys in there? Soap. Yeah, you did it with soap. How old are you, chicken? How old are you? Two. Two. Good job. I can't believe it, you guys. Like, literally, my children are growing up so fast. It's like I blink. And another year passes, I swear. And I know you both can relate. I sound like a broken record, but like time is flying. This pregnancy has flown by, um, especially since I've been working nonstop. This last past month, I had to slow it down. Um, like this last trimester, just because I wasn't feeling well. Um, it started taking a toll on me and sitting um, on the phone for hours at a time is very <laughs> uncomfortable and sometimes excruciating. Like I wouldn't even be able to like sit down. And I'll show you guys right now because um, I switched from a regular chair to an exercise ball. So this is my regular chair. As you see, there's more <laughs> baby stuff. <laughs> um, I just haven't gotten the chance because also I'm super pregnant and Everything is just so hard. But anyways, this is my chaotic uh, workstation. And I switched to a um, exercise ball. I was eyeing this one for like literally a year. And I couldn't get myself to splurge. And um, I finally got it. Well, David got it for me. It was like 64 bucks, but it's an exercise ball with a cover. It has like this stand thing. So that's what I've been using. If you guys want the link, I'll probably try linking it down below. I got it from Amazon. Um, I mean, it's not super expensive. Um, but, I mean, it's definitely a splurge. Like, I don't know. But it even hurts to, like, sit on this. Because I'm just, like, too pregnant. And, yeah, I'm just too pregnant right now. Mom, but yeah. Wow. Oh, you found another construction truck? Yeah. Yeah? We go. Yeah? Are you I gonna be playing? Find a clock. Yeah, are you gonna play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I feel little. Yeah, it's little, huh? Where, feel... where are your Peppas, by the way? Okay. Somewhere in there? Okay. No, I can get it. Want to get it? Yeah. I. I have no idea what we're all like I, the other night well last weekend I um, ordered a bunch of bins for 
the kids toys and everything but it's just chaos again like they just take it out again over and over and over again and then whenever i put it back they they just take it out again but i have no idea where chicken's peppa is just because i tried um getting her like another peppa little thing from ross and it was just it lasted like two days i have no idea where even the peppa house is Chicken. I found the door. Chicken. Woo. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, it's chaos in my house. Like, people live here. Again, we just got back from Olive Garden. Um, <laughs> there's some artwork right there. One backpack. Some stickers on the microwave that I'm just, like, too lazy to take out. And honestly, like, this is my living room, right? It's, like, not as bad as it seems. Um, it's just, like, a process that we're going through. Hi, LD. What you doing, buddy? You definitely need to get groomed, huh? Yeah, we got you. We got to get you an appointment before Sissy arrives. Um, random dog trash bags. And then this is a broken part of an electric motorcycle that, uh, the kids broke from outside um that has things in there like a bowl and part of an excavator truck um but yeah as you see like I started organizing things these are extra bins I have and I got these from Target I got these from the dollar store which is excellent I really like the dollar store because <laughs> these Target ones were nine dollars each and yeah <laughs> I, I don't like spending a lot of money when it comes to things that like that, but they're plastic and I can wash them unlike the fabric ones I've had those for like over four years But they're just like dingy and like way too expensive. They're like 10 to 11 dollars each Over here is like David's section <laughs> um, <laughs> It's just chaos. I feel so bad that like I keep having to move his stuff, but luckily the kids don't really mess with it anymore and um, This corner to be continued little toys uh you know chaos um but yeah people live here a little plant that we water a little ikea kitchen that has been loved very much and this is my laundry room down there um shoes you know with the drill and then, of course, this is like my laundry room area because I moved the dresser that was in here that I was using for storage. Um, and it used to be Sienna's. Um, like, changing table. And I was using it for storage. And, um, well, now I gotta figure out what to do with that, all that stuff because, like, literally, as you see, I don't really have a lot of room. There's just, like, chaos. Um, there's a random gather mat that, I don't know, like, with my last pregnancy with Sienna, I just, like, was too much indulged of, like, what other people had, and I wanted it so bad, and it's just, like, I personally, I personally have yet to, uh, actually really use it. Um, I was hoping to use it like a rug, but it just, it was a hot mess, but as you see, I started, like, putting things in bins, and obviously, they're really not important just because I haven't touched them. Like, I just put them away and let me show you. This is a hot mess still, guys. Just gonna give you like a sneak peek. And up there. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, if anyone wants to like uh, come help me organize my house, I'll, uh, I'll love you forever. But yeah, all is well, you know. I'll show you here, like the kids' bathroom is a hot mess. There you go. Toys everywhere. I bought them, like a new rug from Target the other day and a new like little thing. You can tell that's like a toy bin thing. It's just a hot mess. It's just, it needs a random band-aid. Like I mean, this, this is what I'm saying, like people live here. People definitely live here and I just I haven't made it a priority as far as like organizing the house and everything just because like uh, I work full-time and um, so does well David works part-time but 
he doesn't have time because he also helps me with the kids thank god um but like this is like the kids room one day <laughs> one day but for now if you're asking me like oh why is her mattress bare and stuff and mind you last weekend i deep cleaned this mattress with the carpet cleaner and everything those days are just forever like this ikea bed is actually from my um now 16 year old niece she uses toddler bed so it's gone through three kids already and it's gonna go through a fourth whenever um baby bunny is old enough and such but i highly recommend ikea beds just because they last forever super affordable so as you see we have a lot of ikea stuff um this dresser is still the original dresser of lennon's when he was a baby that uh, um his grandma bought us same as this we have like a projector there because the kids um watch um the fire tv here one day i'll decorate it but for now Honestly, we're just using this as like a starter home to be completely honest because it's just um, It's just it's temporary and Everything is just super temporary um, Where did I leave my phone? Sorry guys, I'm just like taking you guys everywhere and catching you up, but we're using this house as like um, a Starter home we're kind of fixing it up like um a few months ago, we got artificial grass in the backyard. I'm not going to show you that right now because it's just like covered in toys and poop. Honestly, because my dog is uh, against pooping in the rocks. Um, and Arizona is not hot anymore. So, I mean, there's no excuse. Um, hold on. I have to turn on my bedroom light. There we go. Yeah, like right now, it's 82 degrees outside, but it's dark already, thank goodness. But yeah, my life has been kinda um, chaotic, but I started the process. I mean like, this is what I'll show you, hold on. Like, we have the pack and play, I washed it and everything. Um, I'm just using it as my nightstand for the time being. Um, some burp cloths there that I washed, a random pillow that I washed, I've had this pillow for years. And then as you could tell, <laughs> I did a lot of washing because of the hands, foot, and mouth. And then of course, diaper caddy for all the kids. I got one for Bunny, but we'll see. I might just use that as like my pumping bag. Um, so when I, um, pump at home, but <laughs> clean clothes, clean clothes dirty clothes um it never ends and then of course my bathroom back there more clutter and such um but i mean everything everything is going well i can't complain like honestly like i i love i love where i'm at and everything even though i'm pretty miserable being super pregnant um, yeah, but everything has been going great, guys. Um, like I said, I'm 35 weeks pregnant. Um, all is well. Like, we're working, living the dream. <laughs> Even though most nights I'm exhausted and most days I, like, want to cry and, like, literally just, like, throw a huge fit. And, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to, like, grab, because chicken sienna my daughter that's two loves to hide her sippies and i find rotten sippies everywhere all the time so i highly recommend you guys never uh invest in super expensive sippies the ones from walmart like little parents choice or something like that are the way to go or the taken toss just because you lose them here's some rotten milk um as you can tell we don't care for matching them and they're only a dollar each so everything's good <laughs> in that aspect I used to like feel like I had to be some sort of mom like a Instagram mom 
but that wasn't me i was very unhappy and that's why i let go of instagram because it was doing more harm thank good i originally like had my motherhood instagram which is still there i just don't use it um to you know reach out to others inspire others um but it just became something that i just didn't feel comfortable with anymore just because it was a different season of my life and then also i i felt like i just couldn't like keep up <laughs> hi bubby hi, hi. <laughs> I'll, I'll take on to to turkey on your poop okay <laughs> yeah um I just couldn't handle, um, like, the non-stop, like, not feeling, like, fulfilled. Even though, like, when it comes to, like, fulfillment, like, I felt like I wasn't actually fulfilling my main purpose that God has for me. Um, and I, I've been doing so good since I, like, disconnected myself from social media. And I made a video, um... You probably could find it in my channel. I just don't, um, I don't expect myself to go back to social media. Maybe I'll post here on YouTube and everything like that, um, like I've done before. Um, but I don't think I'll ever go back to Instagram just because it's something that... <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. Um, it's something that didn't fulfill me so I don't want it to be taking my time and everything and I'm, I'm genuinely happy I look forward to like not being pregnant anymore and like going back to church every Sunday um, just because it's a community that um, definitely was was very supportive and it was just it got to the point that like because I was working full-time and I, I was starting to get too pregnant and like I, I just needed rest and I know God understands and everything like that but whenever I have time for example I um, I definitely um, do my devotionals like I have a, a cute little notebook I'll show you and maybe you guys will um, be interested on um, devotionals and stuff and growing your faith um, of course I'm not perfect whatsoever sorry I'm just like super full um, growing my faith and um, I find it very like therapeutic just because um, you know God's words are very very um, therapeutic to me you know and that's why um, whenever I sought out to God in my darkest moment and stuff he was the one that actually like saved me and I and um, not to get like too emotional and stuff like that but god is so good and um whenever i have time like early in the morning um i write some devotionals as you see it's well loved because my kids have gotten a hold of it but it's just a, it's just a book um i mean i don't blame them because they tried like tracing the little um like engraved flowers but this is the notebook that I use. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was under $20. Super pretty, super good quality. Um, and I use the Mr. Pen brand. I just really like that the way that they write. And also they're they're um, you know like a Christian band and stuff like the band brand. But like I have like devotionals on here um, and also drawings from the kids, which is like some times it's annoying but at the same time like it's something to look back on um and it's something that i can reference um on it every day of like what i went through and makes me even more grateful for everything that um god has gotten me through and has supported me through and i absolutely love it just because like i uh I need that moment of peace and I think that's super important when it comes to like motherhood and everyday life. We need to take like a moment and pause and reflect because in this society unfortunately it's go go go. Um, so that's like my therapy and I do other stuff for therapy like every once in a while 
um, and I don't feel guilty anymore of like treating myself to, you know, coffee or treating myself to, you know, getting my nails done or treating myself to like, you know, buying myself lunch or treating my family out to lunch or, um, you know, taking a nap because naps are like full requirement now um, in this last part of my pregnancy just because like I, I don't sleep at night and as you know mamas know it's hard to sleep at night when you're super pregnant so I basically sleep inclined hence all the pillows um, but everything is so good and I I cannot wait to share more of my life with you I'm thinking about sharing like a um, clean with me tomorrow um, just because it's something that I, I personally like watching because it gives me like motivation. Like one of my favorite um, YouTubers I like to watch uh, <laughs> clean with me's is like Jamie's Journey, um, This Mama's House, um, what other one? I I love uh, Nadia's channel, All of, All of You More, um, just because Nadia Oliver is a working mom she also is like a homemaker and like she I really like her so um, those are like my top favorite channels same as um, who else is there I really like watching um, basically like real uh, cleaning channels like real um, like real people um, like Kelly's Corner I really like her because like she's real <laughs> And I mean, like, I don't have like a nanny. I don't have um, like a cleaning person and such because, um, I mean, personally, I can't splurge. I can't get myself to splurge on that. I rather like do things with my family. And uh, yeah, but to whoever, whoever um, does that, like uses a cleaner and stuff, cool. I just have like a lot of guilt when it comes to that. As far as like I, I've been this close to hiring a cleaner um, to come by um, at least like every two weeks but I'm like psycho and I'm just like no I could do it myself because it's just like then I'm gonna get lazy and stuff but I definitely put my housework in the back burner when it comes to like you know um, <laughs> keeping all the dishes clean and stuff like that but like David helps me out a lot he mainly does the dishes and stuff and helps me get the kids ready um, first thing in the morning. Um, as far as laundry, I always take care of laundry. My clean, uh, my clothes are clean. They're not just like, <laughs> not folded all the time or put they're clean. And I know a lot of people can relate. It's just like, sometimes it's just that, that is just not gonna be a priority. Like I'd rather have a priority of, you know, watching a movie with my kids. Or like playing with my kids like right now David is helping me out um, he's outside in the front with the kids playing with them and everything and I love that I don't even have to ask him anymore just because like um, I know that um, you know the the kids need to be outside like the kids need to have fun and everything like that and today David helped me out so much because London didn't have school because we had to go to a parent-teacher conference for him and um, in the morning um, I had a midwife appointment, um, so I couldn't take them to my midwife appointment because they don't accept um, below 18, um, like another person in the appointment. Um, but he took them to the airport because David works at the airport, um, and London absolutely loved it, and so does David because like London is wanting to help him out and stuff like that. So. Honestly, it's been it's been something that we've been like tag teaming and everything like that. But I plan on sharing like a cleaning video. What's wrong? Mom. What's the matter? Dad just squeezed my arm. Were you listening to him? Yeah. What happened? Did Alan go back inside? Yeah. Everybody yeah. went inside. Yeah, I think yeah. it's nighttime. Did you see? It's dark outside. Everybody went inside. Yeah, it's dark outside. We you played outside for as you long as they were the, outside. Okay, do you want to say something to the camera? Mm -mm. So it's recording right there. Okay, well, it's time to, <laughs> it's time to go meet me and everything. You want to say goodbye? Yeah? No. Oh, you're all sweaty. We got to wipe you down. 
Alright guys, well, um, I'll keep you guys updated as far as like baby being here and everything, but I plan on sharing a video tomorrow of cleaning. Um, and we get a new couch tomorrow, right? Mm. Yeah? Are yeah. you excited? Maybe we could have a sleepover on the couch, the new couch. Because it turns into a bed. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.